So it's uh, winter break and I got nothing to do. So I might as well build a robot to keep my um, computer science skills sharp. So I decided to build a face tracking robot and here it is. So I designed and printed some plastic parts to hold the motors, one for it to go left and right and one for it to look up and down. The turret is driven with two nine gram servos. Here's what it looks like when it's fully assembled. It takes two bolts, one right there, one right there. That lets it rotate and up down. To control the servos, all you really need is an Arduino Nano. Um, I got this one off AliExpress. And then you need some breadboard jumper wires to connect the servos to the Arduino. You really don't need a breadboard. It's a very low cost project. Here's a look at the circuit. This is just five volts, this is ground, and then these are the digital input output pins to each servo. So the green box around my face is generated in Python using a HAR cascade just to detect the area. It's a pre-written library in OpenCV2. The first few lines is all the libraries that I have installed for this. So if you're trying to use this code, make sure you have all those installed. The next line is setting up the serial communication with the Arduino. So then a mask is made over the feed coming in from the webcam using the HAR cascade, and that'll return coordinates of the top left pixel of like the green bounding box, and then that will be sent to the Arduino through the serial communications. So this is the code that's uploaded to the Arduino, so it just continuously loops when it's connected to the computer. Every time that string is terminated by a backslash R, it parses the two sets of data into the x-axis and the y-axis and scales them from 0 to 180. Here's the 1080 and 1920, that's the resolution of the camera, just so it converts right, and then it tells the servos to go to that position. This is it working. I just taped a pencil to the end to make it easier to see, but it will follow you. So when it spazzes out like that, that's uh, false face detections, because sometimes it gets it in the folds of your clothing. But yeah, there it is. So I'll put all the code and the 3D print files in the description. If anyone has any questions, feel free to leave them.